Ladies and gentlemen, the horses have been called. They're entering the track for the night's seventh race. The 1996 Governor's Cup Trot Final for three-year-old Colts and Gildings. Racing one mile, a purse of $28,924. Number one is Blaze of Victory by Jim Hecker of Marion, Delvin Criswell Trains. Jeff Fouch will drive. The two Grum Marion, Elmar Barber Chapman, David Rankin, and Richard Lane of Ohio, Dave Rankin, the trainer driver. Three is T. Cody, Walt Beaver, the owner, Robert Del Bianco trains with Hugh Betty Jr. The four is Super Jock, called by Joe Lanning of Zanesville, Lloyd Hawk trains for Dave Hawk. Five, Spirit of Troy, owned by Kevin Greenfield of Perrysburg, Jeff Miller trains, J. Cross drives. Number six, Dan's Shadow, owned by Chip Noble of Senior, Ralph Conley Jr. Chip Noble, the trainer driver. Seven is Mighty Appealing, owned by the Mighty Appealing stable of Delaware, Kenny Edwards trains for Dave Miller. Number eight, Proxy's Dandy. Well, by Harold Walker of Navarre Piasolan as the trainer Joe Adamski is up. And from post nine, only action with the syndicate of Yoey Huber, Brian Bond, Montgomery, Dick Richardson Jr. The trainer, the driver, is Don Irvine Jr. There on your supplement sheets, that driver should read Don Irvine Jr. Again, the driver is Don Irvine Jr. who drove in the first heats of the Elimination Governor's Cup trots. The 1996 Governor's Cup Trot Final in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. Off stride is mighty appealing and they're off. And first away, it's Super Jock as Hawk fires quickly for the lead. Dan Shadow is out with them, and from the inside, it's Grammarian. And these two are battling early for the lead. From the outside and trotting a fourth, it's only action. And from off the pylons came Blaze of Victory. Inside and trotting a sixth now, it's T. Cody as he comes away solidly. At the rail, Spirit of Troy. Inside is Proxy's Danny. The trailer completely out of it now is Mighty Appealing. The opening quarter, a lively 27 and four and Dan Shadow has a lead here but Grammarian wants that lead and uh, Rankin is moving to the outside with the two to one shot Grammarian and Grammarian quickly moves into control Dan Shadow to the inside is now trotting second Super Jock is third and here comes Irvine with only action and only action the 25 to one shot is on the move and T. Cody is right there to the outer flow racing a fourth at the rail is Super Jock and Spirit of Choi joining cover now they reach the half fifth Deed and two, and only action uh, making a break here. Only action is off stride. That leaves T. Cody uncovered to challenge the leader. Down the back stretch, and Grammarian has a lead here. Three parts of a length, and T. Cody is right there, trotting his second. Dan Shadow is at the rail third. And Spirit of Troy, a perfect trip here. Drafting with cover is fourth. Super Jock is at the rail in fifth. Proxies Danny to the outside is sixth. As they reach the three-quarter mile marker, 128, and Grammarian continues to lead here. Three parts of a length, but T. Cody is stalking the leader, is right there at the rail, Dan Shadow, and Spirit of Joy is gapping now as they turn for home with last Saturday, eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come into the 1996 Governor's Cup trot final. Out of the outside, T. Cody will take the lead from Grammarian, and Dan Shadow coming to the outside, but T. Cody is tons the best here. T. Cody by two in one fifty seven and one grammarian second and uh, finishing third was dan shadow ladies and gentlemen introducing the official winner of the 1996 governor's cup trot final number three t cody son of ambro Iliad from the christus crown mare make it mine it was bred by George Herry and Carl Schumann, owned by Walter Beaver, Hilliard, Ohio, Robert Del Bianco, the trainer, and uh, superbly driven tonight by Hugh Beatty Jr. Eighth win of the season, and that just a fifth of a second off his career mark in his elimination. 157 and 1. T. Cody coming through tonight with two very impressive miles. Tracks had to make the trophy presentation. Mr. Dick Ricker. Noreen Ricker, along with Harold Crow and Betty Crow and Paul Meckling. 